On our stage this week, an exclusive one-on-one -on -one with Marian Hall and all the recent happenings around dancehall in which she is featured. The former queen of dancehall will also world premiere her latest music video. And it's not necessarily a gospel song. Also coming up, former dancehall frontliner and now international recording gospel star Papa San has blended dancehall reggae on his latest studio album. Welcome to the show everyone, I am Winford Williams. We'll be right back. Former dancehall frontliner and now international recording gospel star Papa San has blended dancehall reggae on his latest studio album and is on our stage right now to chat and perform tracks from the project. Papa San sir. Anna, Blessed love. Good Anna. to have you, sir. Blessed. Good to see you, man. Yes, sir. You know yes, what? sir. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Always, oh, you know. my goodness. Good man. to see you, man. Blessings. How would you sum up where your career is at this time in, in gospel music? Ah, uh, a nice place, a good place. Yes. My eighth album, you know, being a Christian for 25 years, spreading the good news of Jesus Christ all over the world. Yes. And just leaving that legacy yes. that people can see and follow and keep following Christ and come to Christ as well. Yes. And so I look at it and say, you know, it's a great legacy to leave, you know, a great legacy to, to give off to our younger generation coming up as well, mm -hmm. you know. So are you any less busy than you were in secular? I'm more busy now. <laughs> yes. You know, being an artist, a pastor in one, you know, yes. you find yourself pulled to a side sometimes, but the grace of God and the strength of God carry us through to do those things and get things in order. So, yes, I'm, I'm very busy. To what extent were you able to convert, to carry over your, your secular fans to gospel? What a lot of people don't know in Redford is that a lot of the fans that I used to have in the secular got saved before I do. Yes. And they are praying, they, they pray me in. <laughs> so okay. by the time I get over, I have a whole thousand, thousands of people that say, hey man, I used to follow you back in the days. Mm -hmm. Ray, Ray, you know, and I got saved so and so and so, and I was praying for you. And all over the world, you find the same thing. And so we've seen the same fun from in the 80s or 90s, yes. you know, in the church today, lifting up Jesus Christ. And they were fans before. And they became fans again all over. And a new life, a new general life, and things like that. So it's, it's always... You know, it's amazing to see stuff like this happen. There's a lot of chat out there about yeah. the music, the state of our music, in particular dancehall. How do you see it? How would you comment on where your genre, as a foundation dancehall, mm -hmm. as, you know, as it is now? <laughs> the thing is that dancehall always evolve mm -hmm. over the years, but always maintain its roots. You, you can always hear a taxi, you know, different from a waterbed rhythm, and sound, them don't sound alike, but you know it's reggae. Yes. And so we have to have something in it that identifies it, it's dancehall and keep the roots there. And so sometimes you find some of the music don't have that. It okay. more shift towards hip hop. You know, so dancehall is what I stick to because that's the package that we use to carry our content. Mm -hmm. You know, every country have its own culture and they have, they have its own music. You know, you have country and western, you have R&B music, you have African music, you have different kinds. And we have Calypso music from Trinidad. Mm -hmm. And so every country have them culture, them have their own music. And those music are just vehicles to carry the, 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 the content that yes. they want to deliver. And so dancehall is one of those things. But sometimes you hear songs, it don't really sound like dancehall. It sounds like something else other mm -hmm. than dancehall. So I like to keep it dancehall. Even if we modernize it, it must always have something in there that identify that this is a dancehall yes. track. You know. All right, so let's jump into your new album. Yes. You're very excited about this project. I am, this, yes. This project, <laughs> yeah. no, yes, it? sir, yes. Yes, and so it's 10 tracks. Yes. All right, so who's on it and what's on it? This is the first time I do an album with no columns. Mm -hmm. You know, my, my last seven albums, um, there was always some form of collaboration on there, but this time, it's just me. Mm -hmm. And I think it's overdue. It's time for me to do something that way because the first album I have like this, and it's 10 tracks, life lessons, really talk about life issues, you know, people have different experiences in, in their lives. I'm, as myself, go through so many things in my life that I can share with other people and show them more God divert me from stuff, take me out of stuff and bring me through stuff. Okay. And just, just to know what God can do in my life, you know, by reading his word and allowing the Holy Spirit to guide me and 
and guide me into all truth constantly. Mm -hmm. Help me a whole lot. And so I give God thanks. And I want to share that with everybody else because everybody has their own experiences. But yes. at the same time, you really want to make sure that you have the medicine, you know, that carry the cure to give to the people who are hurting. Oh, boy. Well, son, it sounds to me and looks to, like you are still the son we knew in. <laughs> there's no, there's no, I'm not saying, I'm not disrespecting the fact that you're now, you found Christ and that you've converted and you're doing the work of the Lord. Mm. What, what I'm trying to say is that at, in terms of your artistry, yeah. we can't say anything is missing, Reggie. You know, God, God, God given gifts. You, if anything, you've, you've searched. <laughs> of course, because God gives us gifts, you know, and abilities yes. and skills. It's coming from him, you know. The Bible says every good and perfect gift comes from the Father of light. Yes. You know, so I was gifted to write and have the ability to write. So when I receive Christ, I write for him. And there's so much things in the Bible to write about. Okay. You know what I mean? And so and so much things in life that you can relate to, that you can write about and use the scripture as the medicine for bringing healing to anybody. Did you ever imagine in your life, in, back in the day when you guys were burning up dancehall, that you would become like legendary in, in dancehall? I mean, people are still, wow, you know, shunning dancehall in those early years. But now guys like you are being considered legends because of what you did. It's like we are now, only now, knowing the depth and the, the level of artistry and the greatness of those, those of you who were in the physical dance hall space, creating this thing. I, I mean, like freestyling through it. Mm -hmm. were, you guys were just getting, take up my mic and just done place and have audiences owning people in, in dances. And now we're realizing, oh, it's not so easy. When we look at what we're going on right now, the, the man of say, we the one of the man are legend now because it not, it's not easy to, to go back to, to, to really rise to, to that level. Because we, we start from a foundation, you know. We yes. never piggyback. You know, I start from licking a stick on a wall and sing, yeah. moving to doing parties and you know the communities, then to talent show, taking mm -hmm. taste taste talent show, then to dance hall. You know, dance hall start with a man standing up at the gate and collect the money. People go inside the dance, start from nine until four in the morning. And we put on the vinyl, you have to turn it over on the next side, the DJ and the version. Yes. And something you DJ, six, seven lyrics from one version. And the next song play, you have to spin it over again and DJ upon that version. And that goes on from nine sometime till three in the morning. You can't have 45 minutes with the lyrics to do that. <laughs> you have to be lyrically inclined. So yes. we, we take it from the roots and we develop the craft from there. And just keep writing and just keep creating and just keep moving. And I said, God give, gifted me to write about almost anything, you know? And so that, that, is, that is me back then. No, I don't, I don't write what I, 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 I desire. I write what I was told. Okay. There's a difference. Ah. You know, one time I used to write what I, I desire and what people want to hear from. It was all about you. To move an Stops with you. I want to move an audience. Yeah. But no, I don't write to move an audience. I write what I was told to write. I'm ah. sending a message, which is different. Uh, you know, so it's not me writing now. It's him writing. Yes. Ah, writing. Yes. It's him writing. Well, <laughs> are, well, no, well uh, before we shake your hand, you're going to perform for us, right? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. you're going to perform tracks from the album. Yes. So what we're going to do now is to clear, we'll take away self. Yes. And after the break, you're on. Live, sir? Yes, sir. On this stage. Jesus Christ eternal. We love you, Lord. God bless you. One love. Bless for the love, love sir. Bless Check it out. Love. Ready? Let's With go. Respect. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Yes, sir. You never stop loving me when I feel rejected. Yeah. You take me in your arms. Let me know I'm accepted. Jesus. Choose a rocky road. Hey. Hills and valleys too. I know I'm not alone. I'm right here with you When the rose is no red The violet's no blue And some use them tongue and chop me into you Make everything new Got the love about you Got the love about you Got the love about you Now for them call me out 5, 4, 3, 2 Say me now go make it Me not know what me I do You increase my revenue Got the love about you Got the love about you Got the love about you That's true Me still love you so long regardless I read me, I read me 
the darkness, converge up in the yardless, converge up in the yardless. They bigger than the blue smallest, men are desperate, men are distressed, men are homeless, men are helpless, they are godless, they are younger, young and reckless. So don't lose your respect. What about you and the things that you do? Me see you make mistakes just like everybody do. Even when my friend them cut, you never leave your button up like me shut yet. Got me love about you, got me love about you, got me love about you. Even when the rent and the bills them do, God you never leave you lock on like do you make everything new. Got me love about you, got me love about you, got me love about you. Me say me not gonna be frustrated, dedicated, me and the enemy don't relate it. Give me self up to date it, and purpose and dedicated to you, God. We can never be separated. You could me with your righteousness, you never leave me naked. You want me out of school, never leave me not the cold. Me never find your coast and turn the red light, the stop sign, just green light, not cold. Me and God are rolled, for me not as cool. A cruise man, a cruise, a crazy driver, God. I said, I said you never stop loving me. When I feel rejected, to me. You take me in your arms, I leave me on am accepted. Jesus, listen, choose some rocky road. I'm right there with you. When the rose is no red, the violets no blue. And some use them tongue and slice me into your bed. Everything you. Yeah. Got me love about you. Got me love about you. I got me love about you. Now for them call me out. Five, four, three, and two. Say me not gonna make it. Me not know when me yet do you increase my revenue. Got me love about you. Got me love about you. Got me love about you. Tell Jesus, say. Got me love about you. And after the break, one on one with Marianne Hall on just about everything dance hall that she's been featured in in recent times. Lady Saul's decision to follow Christ has been inundated with skepticism ever since she made the announcement in 2015. But it wasn't long before the former leading lady of dancehall shut the disbelievers down with the effective transfer of her dancehall energies to gospel. This after going back to her birth name, Marianne Hall, and adding the title, Minister. This was Minister Marion Hall at Rebel Salute in January 2017, two years after her transition. Years are grown in my house, we serve for the Lord. He come as he pleases, and I never hear him leave. Yet the skeptics would rise again in the first quarter of 2022. This after Minister Hall dared to post a sermon in social media in which she critiqued the state of dance hall and its hottest female stars. We welcome to our stage right now Minister Marion Hall for our first chat since all that. But more importantly, to premiere a brand new music video. <laughs> You know, Maria. Oh, you know. welcome, welcome. Thank you, bless. So good to have you, to see you. Bless in good spirit, yes. looking great and all. Yes, thank you. 
Okay, so start with the state of your ministry oh, the state at this of time. Ministry. Where is it now? I got so many people loving me, so many people standing by me, so many people praying for me. Yes. I have some praying people on that platform where God has opened for me on my Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. I left them for a little bit. You know, I was to come to Jamaica and do this music video, so they yeah, understand. Great, but jump into, start about Rebel Salute. Let me ask you about oh, Rebel Salute. Okay. I might have asked you before. Yes. I want to hear it again. Yes. The energy that we saw mm -hmm. at the Rastafari show mm. coming from <laughs> you was no less than we would see at Reggae Sun Fest, at Sting, or wherever yeah. they put yeah. you. And it's gospel yeah. spitting. Yeah. And the whole crowd yeah. belonged to you. It was God who sent me. At first, I didn't understand why. I asked him, I'm like, God, why are you sending me here? He gave me a song and said, this is your introduction to the stage. The song with the beat and everything. Yes. So when I came to Jamaica, I was able to tell the musicians at the rehearsal what I want, you know? Mm -hmm. Have thrown in the towel, do 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 do. Have given Satan back him crown, do 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 do. Have taken off my sandals, huh? Cause I'm standing on all the ground, do 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 do. I'm filled with the anointing, you know. I knew everything. I was like, why God is sending me there? But I remember when. Well, in, in the middle of my performance, I was about to do a song about pay, paying back the Lord. Uh, it's, it's a song titled, How Can I Repay You? And I hear a Rasta man say, Bow no to Jesus. So I was about to like, <laughs> you know, because I still it up. It's only on the side of his feet. So I remember the Lord said to me, don't address it now. And in the middle of the song, he said, address it now. But what came out of my mouth mm -hmm. was something that he was giving me at the rehearsal three days, you know, before. And it was a scripture about unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name is called, you know, wonderful mm -hmm. counselor, almighty God, the everlasting father, the prince of peace. And I remember when I turned to him and I said, I heard you said I should burn my Jesus, but have I ever told you, you know, to burn your God? Yes. And what came out, some of it I can't remember, but it was just so powerful. People was reciting the scripture. Mm -hmm. And he had me three days in a row, the Lord was giving it to me. But me still have fire in my belly, you know, me not normal, you know. <laughs> me can't chop up things and tear up things anywhere me day. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm gifted like that. So you wanted to sustain that same fire. You wanted to, to carry that fire in gospel. Yeah, I did a song, I'm on fire for Jesus. And I dj in it too. Yes. Yeah, but... It's what the Lord gave to me. Like when I first started out, it's like I wasn't getting a lot of DJ songs. And you know, you're in church and the church, a lot of yeah. church can confuse you. And you have to tie up your head and tie up this and tie up that and your skirt should be long and you shouldn't this and that and you, you know, and you confuse. But I remember being in Birmingham, I was unable to throw the love offering because I didn't have the money. And I was saying, God, I feel so bad. And he said, you have given me a heart and that is enough. There was another time in Oterius I was ministering and he told me to tell the people that what he need from them. He said he needed their heart, their soul, yeah? Mm -hmm. And I, I realized that it's not about what you wear. You know, it's not about me. It doesn't matter if it's if me DJ or rap or sing. I'm giving praise to God. So you can't please mankind. You understand what I'm saying? The art is where it's at. Once this belongs to God, that's, I'm growing now yes. and understanding, having my conversations with the Lord and hearing him speak. The Holy Spirit, he, he does speak. And he speak quite often to me because many times he direct me when I'm in the middle of a valley. When I'm down in the valley, that's where the Lord really speaks to me. Were you surprised at the response at uh, Rebel Salute? Nah, I don't. At first, you know what surprised me? When I was entering the stage yeah. and I had that same song that the Lord gave me, I saw Muta Baruka and he said, You can't pass. I'm not touching me, you know. <laughs> you can't pass me. I said, Wow, you know, Rasta man. You know? <laughs> so he loved me and he loved him. And um, that was something, mm -hmm. you know, for him. It shows that we, we not segregate, you yes. know, the love is still there. And I praise my God, whoever is your God. You know what I'm saying? I know who my God is, and I know he's the true and living God, the God of Israel, the God of Moses, the God of Isaac and Jacob. That's my God. That post, mm -hmm. that one, that yes. ceremony that you posted, Yes. what made you want to do it at that time? 
submit yourself or go to hell. <laughs> that was it. I saw Sincere. I love her. Yes. I always love her because I love the relationship that she has with her son. And I always, I, you know, anytime I see her pop up, I, I looked. But then I saw this other woman, they were just back and forth, and it reminded me of me and her, you know? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, this woman ain't gonna stop until this girl, you know, she bring, she bring this girl down. But she's toe to toe, like today somebody take off the, you know, no top, brassier, uh, no, you know? Mm -hmm. Tomorrow she's somebody, the other person look like them chalk bar naked. So I'm like, this competition is not, it's not going well. So I'm like, I'm looking at it and I'm watching my sisters like, you know, it reminded me of this jealousy and, you know, just backbiting and there, there, there. And I said, my God, and I'm talking to the Lord, you know, and I'm watching. At first when I saw Cynthia, she did a video and she had like some horns. Mm -hmm. And I sent her a message and I tell her, you, you should have a saying what you wear. And this don't look good, but I didn't know that people were actually saying something about it. That was my first attempt to say anything to her. I see things pop up, you know? People tell me things or I see things pop up. So I, one day, like God gave me a sermon because I saw Sensia. She did a video with Megan Thee Stallion. Mm -hmm. People send things over my way. Sometimes I say, I don't want to see them. Mm -hmm. But what I saw was something. But God said something to me. And I start writing the sermon. But when I reached the part that said, Run like Leah the Star. Run like Foot of Eye Baby Mother. What's her name? Aishana. Aishana. <laughs> I hear the Holy Spirit said to me, Google Aishana. No joke. God spoke to use my WhatsApp to speak to people. Uh, trust me, on the 14th of December 2015. So you may not understand it, but I hear Google Aishana. So when I Google Aishana, I realize that Aishana is still in the thing. She's yeah. still in the dirt, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, oh my God, God is not the author of confusion, so he didn't want to confuse. You know, me going out there saying, run like Aishana, because I thought she stopped singing them songs. Yes. But she was actually still singing, because when I Googled, the first song I hear was one X-rated one, you know? So anyway, I said to the Lord, I'm not going to preach this sermon. But if God says something, you're going to say it. You, you know, no matter how you shut your mouth, it's going to just open automatically, because it's not the first it happened to me. So I went downstairs to preach mm -hmm. without preaching that. And my mouth just started doing its own thing. <laughs> so I couldn't stop. And it happened before. I tell God I wouldn't tell somebody something. And I could, when I make the call and I say, God is in my house, the Holy Spirit so, talking to me, the, the thing just changed. And I start telling the man, say, God say, so and so and so and so and And I couldn't stop. So and so and so. And even when the phone cut off, I remember telling the guy the rest of the message on the phone and the Lord said, why did you deliver the message like that? And the man called back instantly, and I said, you back with me? He said, no, you know, and he was about to explain, mm -hmm. and God just opened my mouth again. So anyway, I preached that sermon, and all hell broke loose. I went back to God, I said, God, you gave me that word. You give me a message, and I preach it. Now, why is this happening? Mm -hmm. He took me first to Psalms 118. I went back to God again. I said, God, you gave me this message, and I delivered it. So why all hell breaking loose? He took me to 2 Chronicles, mm -hmm. chapter 20. Jehoshaphat was the king of Israel. There was three armies that was coming up against Israel. There, it was a vast amount of people, warriors. He went to the Lord and he was scared. And he asked God, what is this? And God tell him, listen, fret not thyself, you know? Be still, yeah? Just <laughs> said mm -hmm. by tomorrow. He said he's going to cause an ambush. And when Joseph had his, his worshippers go before him, just to worship, awake the spirit of God. Worship do touch the heart of God. It moves the heart of God. So when they went into battle, they didn't have to do anything because God said you don't have to do anything. Just be still. And you'll see. All hell was still breaking loose because even Christian got involved. And I said, okay, okay. So you Christians, you are like with the others. You want to mash up my ministries. Okay, you win. I'm gone. So they taught. I actually wasn't, I mean, it's just, I won't be on the Facebook and the Instagram. The people, them not be of good. Me gone. 
Yeah. Take a, what, a break, yeah? But they thought I was leaving. Hear this. Leaving gospel. Right. Going back to that. Yeah. So I went back to God and I said, God, all yeah. hell is still breaking loose. You show me, you know, that you actually, because I asked him if he said, give me this message, because yeah. I want to know if it's me. Yeah. But when I went out, I watched it back. It's not me. Me out there, chop iron, you know, chop up some demon. And <laughs> it's not me. So I went back. When I went back this time, he took me to Second Thessalonians. Chapter 4, I think it was, yes. And he was telling me that the ones who resist the truth, mm -hmm. he's going to give them strong delusion. And he also said in his word that they're going to perish. I cried tears. I bawled the eye water for my sisters. I'm trying to save them because I was where they were. Uh, yeah, and the Bible said, be not conformed to the things of the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. When your mind is renewed in Christ, things of the world don't, you don't need those things. You know, and I'm saying to the young lady, I could do a song with you and show you. It's not a Jesus gospel, 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 mm -hmm. but it's not degrading you. <laughs> I just wanted to help my little sister out. Yes. Like, you don't have to do this. So, because when I said I wasn't going to preach the sermon, you know, God showed me something. And it, it blew my mind. When I put down the book, I take up my phone, mm -hmm. go on my phone, boom, video, in slow motion, this big bed with my little sister, Sensia, and Megan Lee Stallion. They were both on their hands and knees, upward position, mm -hmm. yeah? And... When Stallion looked like she, you know, she's really a Stallion. And when she bang, bang, bang on um, Sensia butt, he kind of knocked her out of, like what I saw in slow motion when she go like this. And she take her hair and she put it back here. It's like God is showing me. That's a silent cry right there. This young girl need help. But she's not saying it. Mm -hmm. But this is not what she had planned for or signed to. It was just for her to have a baby and this. And I, I saw the love. I yeah. know she loved her. And she, you know, I, I just feel like she's so talented and so beautiful that she don't have to strip. She don't have to sing nothing about nothing where, you know, derogatory and lower herself to what the world wants. Yes. Me and Spice done gone through them, they all bang around already. So this little sister know. She don't need to tell go there, you're saying. Yeah. Tell her. You don't need, you can do dance all thing. Because this song we're promoting, yes. it's a dance all song and it's not a gospel gospel. So you, they'll get an idea of what I'm when talking about. When we drop about. it later, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I love them, man. It's not like what people think. I, ah, I have no time for that. Coming up. Marianne's response to questions about her wanting to return to dance on, the song she wants to do with Shensia, and the premiere of her new video. How did you feel when they say it, all of what you were going on mm -hmm. with was because you wanted to get back into dance on, that you missed it, and <laughs> you want to be back? If I never knew the power in your name, the love, the yes. joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy that I now feel, the peace that surpasses all understanding. When I was in dance hall, I was miserable. Everybody knows that after a concert, I would go and kneel on my knees. That was just them making up foolishness. Those were they and them bloggers. They pay off to do foolishness. Okay. People know me. I wouldn't, if I want to go back in a dance hall, I'll be stamped that long time. But I'm no star in the gate of hell. Why would I leave, you know, sweet it is for box down demon and light up witches? I would never walk away. After God took me out of so much nastiness, so much pain, I would really turn my back on God for what? A million dollar? I close on face. I'm the only woman who ever do it for a million. Look, look, Sting is calling me already. You know what I'm saying? The other day, they advertised they advertise in Sunfest whose face they use and whose name. 
Me can't get rid of me, and me want to get rid of myself for the long time. I, I agree, I agree. I'm, I would I'm, never I'm go back to dancehall and been, DJ any type of music. But I've been I'm covering good. you for all of your career. Mm. So I've seen it all. Oh, please. Oh, yes, and you've been there. I'm in love with the Lord. Yeah. I'm in love and with so, the Lord. And in fact, that mm. song fest that you closed, you mm. destroyed it in five minutes. Mm. I have it, I have please, it on TV. man. Tape. Let me tell you this, Winfrey. Two or two. If I could just open my heart and show you how... Oh, Beautiful it is. I don't have nothing to do. Listen, I love them. They're just making a lot of noise. Them confused. The spirit of confusion mm -hmm. gets to them. I love God so much that I would just, ah. But people want you to come back. People have, have been, been, people have been. Leave me alone. People have been calling you. They say, come back, lady, so come back. Never Where is that? Lady? As soon as I step off the plane. Yes. People see me and just jump up. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm like, stop it. Blood and Jesus, stop it, stop it. Yes, yeah, stop it. I'm not back. We miss you, we want you with this. No, I would never. What dance hall, I have done my part and it wasn't anything I'm proud of. Can I tell you that the history that I, what I left there is not what I wanted. I was, uh-uh. I wish mm. if I could erase really? all the, yes, all the nice All the greatness. Things. All the all nastiness, the, come on, Winfrey. All the glass ceilings that you've broken. Uh, I, I, I wish I could erase come on. every slack song I did. <laughs> I remember when some fest, uh, you were banned from Antigua Bay. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean. I would love to erase all that. And you were defiant that yes. what you did was what you did. You were expressing yourself as an artist. Yeah, but you know and, what? And, I, they, and they, had to, they had to drop it. I follow fashion, I follow fashion. See the men, what happened now? I saw the men singing about women, but in a derogatory way. You remember a girl, your mud up? Yes. Them thing that was, you know, just disrespectful, you know, but in a, in a you know, like it, it's like, it's not really that me saying, but it's that you're actually mm -hmm. saying. And then you have something, I said, Ray and Ray, and I got in there, but to defend them, women, us women, but then. Yes. It was not, it was too raunchy, man. And one thing you've said, you're never who they, in real life, you're never who they see on the stage. And you ever. Can ask anybody who knows me. But I know that. You remember? Even, my, even my, my sister, even Spice was saying, she did an interview with you. Mm -hmm. And say, no, you don't know the real Marion. Yeah. The real Marion is so kind. <laughs> and you remember that interview? <laughs> Nobody pulled that interview. You know what I mean? <laughs> they look for the bad things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I, I'm just praying for them. You know, that this world don't destroy them and just chew them up. Listen, there's a heaven, there's a hell. Why I know there's a heaven, when Jay Capri yes. funeral was taking place, we went to the church and God used the pastor who was ministering over her body to speak to my soul. The man spoke about three people who made it to heaven. Like say, you made it to heaven. I made it to heaven and Jason make it, made it to heaven. I come and I, ask, I start to ask God, why, why are you, why is he here? Why is he here? And I start to bring up all your sins. I said the same about Jason. Mm -hmm. And I start to bring up his sin and the Lord said, you know, it's the same thing people are asking about you. How did you make it here? What God was showing me was that Right then and there in my spirit, it's like I knew God was saying, there's a place for you in heaven. Yeah, there's a place for you in heaven. But if you die in your sins, you won't make it here. Mm -hmm. And I went to Chantry Hall and the Holy Spirit followed me home. And God spoke to me in that place for I think about a hour or more. And then he said, go and get baptized, put on white. And he said not to say anything. Because when I first came out and said I was going to get baptized, the demon them come out full force and I was unable to fight them. I didn't know that we wrestling not against flesh and blood. I thought, all right, you arguing with me, it's just flesh and blood. You know, it's not. So, Sumpest has just crowned Spice, oh, Lord. queen of And I care zero. It's not my business. I'm dealing with different business now. Yes. I don't have no say in that. Area. It's not for me to say anything. I heard about it. I have nothing to say about it. Yes. I'm a queen. All of us, we are queens. Okay. 
I threw my pretty down here. You know, see how my pretty man, me a queen, you a queen, you a queen. But, but, but you have a thing or two to say. No, I don't have anything to say. Marianne, that, that is not you right. critiqued her. You no, critiqued her. Listen, I don't listen yeah. to these people, you know. I just see them pop up. People tell me what they say. Or I say, I don't want to hear, and they're still talking. I don't care. It has nothing to do with me. Okay. So and that's not a crown that I would be grateful for. I wouldn't be happy to get a crown. I, my crown is in heaven. That's the crown I want. Yeah, I that's just, what I'm I just thought I'd ask you. No, I because... wouldn't have anything to say about that, though. Yeah. Because what should I say? Oh, congratulations. That's for <laughs> sin. For me, congratulating somebody for what winning an award or winning something concerning nastiness. Mm. Ah, I don't have nothing to say. <laughs> oh, <Yeah>, please. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... If it makes her happy, well, you know, she's happy. Yeah, that's right. It don't have nothing to do with me. All right, so let's jump into your show. Come on. <laughs> so, so we, we, we never know you can me write to all of them something, yeah, you know. Yeah, you know. It's like a weird for me. But it's beautiful. You know, it's, it's wonderful. You, My God. You, 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 you. You were able to deliver great messages to my <laughs> to my to my fans yeah. and to your fans and to the, all of the people it's watching like right now. Family, you, you, on, you, you find something in the Bible to to drop on all of us. So this is like a sermon. Oh no! You know, it's, no. there's so much no. you had to say that we would no, hear. I clear it up. Yeah. You know. It's just my little sister I was trying to help, and me say, I'm going to do a song with her, and it doesn't have to be gospel. The Christian people, them things tell me, actually, I'm going to do something with You know what I'm saying? And one man said, if you do any song with her, I don't talk to you. Mm -hmm. I said, why? Because I didn't know certain things bothered them, because the man said, since she, she have a lot of children that follow her, and for her to do this and that. And I started telling him about the Lord. God showed me something on this. I was going to do a concert, you know, and a female artist was the one advertising this. It's, it's a little gala. And they say, don't go away because you see who advertising it. And God showed me, a, there's, a, there's a show, a movie called Chosen. Mm -hmm. And when the Lord Jesus was walking with, the, he was walking with the apostles, at the time, they weren't apostles yet. They're, yeah, but one of them was complaining about Peter, that tax collector. Why is he here? Why you for, he, I'll, I'll allow him to follow us? And the Lord spoke to him and said, you know, suppose I had turned you away. Yes. You know, so I told the man, I'm just trying to help. I, it's not like that, you know. I didn't even know anything like she have a lot of young fans and she, you know, they feel violated because of, you know, what she, what song she's doing and what she's doing, you know, but God don't refuse anybody. But you need, what people don't understand, when I delivered my message, you see the last thing God did to me, when I say I'm not going out there, he showed me Stephen, when Stephen was being stoned to death. Yes. And I read it and I said, Lord, how do I preach this? What do I, every, Everybody across me, you know. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And uh, she gone back to dance hall. She's a disgrace. Blah, 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 blah. Christians, you know, they're accusing me. And I'm just sitting back and, you know. You know what the Lord said to me? If I had my Bible, I would put it on my head. He said, I'm standing on the solid rock even when I'm being stoned to death. Mm -hmm. That was the last sermon I did concerning all the controversy and all the noise that they were making. And I say, I'm standing on the solid rock, even when I'm being stoned to death. That means I don't care what you say about me. I don't care what you think about me. I don't care how you cost me. May I serve God. And I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Because the Bible said, it is the power of God unto salvation to them that believe. Yeah? To who? The Jews first and then to host the Gentiles. Yeah. Yeah, so I will preach the gospel in and out of season. And people don't understand. God is a loving God. He's a giving God, a merciful God, yeah? But guess what? He's also a God of wrath. And he's not the art of confusion. So God don't like what's happening. God don't like what's happening. And I'm not, I'll come and tell you if God say, if God said, preach the word about hell, I'm going to tell you there's hell, and I'm happy that I'm not going there because I was at the edge of hell when God came and got me. 
Amen. I knew I was right there. Is either prison <laughs> or hell? <laughs> when you see I leave dance hall. Yeah. Because these women sometimes they push but, you, you know, the demon, them get in at them and they push you. I'm like, you know, them people they want me to hurt somebody. <laughs> no. So so the the detraction, the detractors during your final years in dance was was widening? Was was that you remember some years ago, years ago, you, you remember yes. our song say, take my money, take my friends, mm. take my houses, I don't need my bands. Take my smile along with my strength. Believe me, Jesus, in the end. You know why I wrote that song? And that was like, say, when I was, like, well, 30 years ago. That was when women were coming at me, some that you don't even know. Yeah? One is still in the business, but not these ones mm -hmm. that you see uh, acting up. Because you know they're acting up. Mm -hmm. Yeah? But it was happening a long time ago. I was always a threat to other women. Don't know why. Mm. I don't have to do nothing, but I dream about them before they become my enemies, all of them. I love them no less, and I would love for them to take that talent that God has gifted them with and come beat some demon out of dance hall. <laughs> Enough demon out there, you know? Okay. But, you know, it's like if you're not connected to the Spirit of God, you don't see. You see that you tell kill off him family them the other day? You mm -hmm. think it's him killing family them? It's the demon in him that kill the family. But these people, you know, they don't have that anointing to see no demon. They can't cast out nothing. People afraid of me. When I see things, people start running from me because <laughs> from I make them out of God. It's because if I lay hands, you know, man? Yeah, you... They just want to see my sister them change from them something. You do that already, that play though, that... Uh, Come with something. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Coming up, the song Marianne wants to do with Shensia and the premiere of her new video. This song with, with Shensia, where is it? Is it gonna happen? What no, because I, I did push out the olive branch, you know, mm -hmm. but she never take it. You know what I'm saying? But what I love with her, she was not disrespectful. Okay. She said nothing. If you have nothing to, good to say, just don't say nothing. I respect her for that. Okay. She didn't say anything wrong. All right, so you're, let's jump to your brand new track now, which I just, I got a sneak peek of, just so I, mm -hmm. I, I love it. You yeah. know, it's a great dance track. Yes. So, the little piece I heard. So, talk about it, that, the inspiration behind it and the story around the it. The inspiration behind it is, yes. even you, you're going to love this song. Everybody will love this song. I love it already. You, you <laughs> all have people, we all have people yes. in our lives some come to stay, some is just for a season. But you have people who wish you dead, mm -hmm. wish you were not here, you just disappear, wish, wish even God took your talent away. People who wish you're on the street walking, begging, begging for bread. You know what I'm saying? I have gone through some things that has really, wow. I tell you, if it wasn't for the Lord on my side, as the songwriter said, I don't know where I'd be. You know, a lot of us should be walking naked out there, crazy. But because the hand of God is upon us, we're able to stand here to give our testimony about the greatness of God. So I've suffered some things. And when I see what God did, not just see, but the way he spoke to me. Mm -hmm. And he told me, do this, wake up and check on that. Do this, and I'm wondering, what is God saying? Why is God saying all these things? But all things work together for good to them that love the Lord. The Bible said to them who are called according to his purpose. So because the purpose of God is in me, my, my life is not for me. It's for the Lord. Whatever he wants to do with me, that's it. So this song, I was inspired because of how I was treated by people. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's a... It's nothing gospel like, oh, you think, Jesus love me, no. It's one of them one that I would do with Sincere, you know? But I was inspired because of the way people treat me when I'm, because I'm not famous. When I was famous, everybody wants to be in your life and yes. in your light. But when I chose Christ, I was surprised that people who was always, they were like me and Bagar, my clothes, my roll on. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And 
Some people wish you gone, man. You know, wish you would just give up and leave on stage. Die. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's sorry to hurt your feelings. <laughs> but I did not die. Bad mind. You know then? Okay, so can we take the song now? Let's let's do it. Let's do the world premiere right now of this track. Sorry to hurt Maria. your feelings. Sorry to hurt yeah, your feelings. Go back to Satan and tell him it never worked. <laughs> Tell Satan it never were. I'm standing on my grave because God's hand was always up on me. It never worked. No, it never yeah, worked. Yeah. Tell Satan it never worked. It never worked. It did not work. Yeah. Tell bad mind it never worked. Your feelings, but I did not die. Yeah. Sorry to hurt your feelings. As you can see, I'm still alive. Yeah. Sorry to hurt your feelings. Me no broke yo, that's a lie. Cause my daddy rich, so me rich. Yeah. We won't mansion in the skies. You thought I'd be dead right now. Hungry and all I beg right now. Who am blessed without a bed right now? Praise I lose me head right now But I'm giving God thanks right now For all that I have right now Things aren't so bad right now So me I praise God right now hey. Sorry to hurt your feelings But I did not die That's it. That's the record from Marion Hall. Sorry to hurt your feelings. I did two songs. This one, mm -hmm. uh, Mary. There's a producer by the name of Mary. He makes good beats. He's out there in Atlanta. So I was in Atlanta for church. And I went, he took me, picked me up, and I went and did this song. And then, There is a Rock. That song, There is a Rock, it came from when I was in the midst of all that. There is a rock. Yes. That my faith is built on. Oh, that rock. It can never, never be moved. Mm -hmm. There is a rock that I plant my feet on. Look here now. It's an holy ground, so I remove my shoes. What am I saying? Mm -hmm. There is a rock that my faith is built on. Hey! And that rock, it can never, never be moved. Jesus, you know. There is a rock, hey! That I plant my feet on. Hey, it's an holy ground. I said, it's an holy ground. So I remove my shoes. You want to know? I said, that rock. Yes, that rock is Jesus. Hey, hand in him is where my soul abide. You know, I said, that rock. Hey, that rock. Powerful piece of song. So I record that one too. Yeah. So that one is coming also. So people are asking me for pretty than the Kardashian them, but... That was just something I made up, you know? That's it. And everybody like... So, would you take a booking from, say, Sunfest? Sunfest call, you know? Yeah. But here was Sunfest. did know. <laughs> they were talking to us about Gospel Night. Chevelle Franklin was the first one to reach out and tell me they're going to call me. But then all of a sudden, they're turning, trying to get me on dance all night. I know I set them up to some trouble, you know? I say, yes, you scatter. <laughs> scatter, <laughs> say. There's a space for her, yeah? Because Kata want, I just believe, like, you see me and dance all night now. And them woman got trouble me. <laughs> so I think that you can't draw me out. But the thing is, yeah. the peace of God wouldn't even get, you know, but that's not, I want, the, I would rather go to the gospel night so God's name can be praised where, you know what I'm saying? Don't try and draw me in that I mix there right now. If God said go, I'll go though, you know, because right. if there was no sinners, who could be saved? If I wasn't a sinner, and I'm still a sinner, because the Bible said we all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So if there was no sinner, as Jesus said when he was walking this earth, when he took on flesh and dwelt among men, he said, I didn't come to call the righteous, but sinners unto repentance. Yeah? So if, if, not, if, you, if you're if you not sick, you don't need a physician. Mm -hmm. So yes, if God said, go, I go. But you won't pull me in there for the wrong reason. Mm -hmm. But if God... Say go, because we have to pray about things, you know, because more time you go into some territory and some territorial demon in that, you know. If you never soup up in a prayer, you can't get, you, you can't stand up in there. <laughs> you remember in the Bible, you ever read the Bible? Yeah. When 
Paul them and Peter them and cast out demons and Jesus and cast out demons, you know. You know, no, say some, one, one man's son. But I come in the name that Paul used, you know. <laughs> the demon say, and Peter him say, Paul I know. And Jesus I know, but who are you? The demon said, beat them out of them clothes, you know. Mm. That is the funniest part in the Bible. <laughs> beat them naked, beat them, throw them outside. So I would not go unless God said go. Listen, I love you, man. I love you. I'm happy to be in Jamaica. And this, you know, trust me, Arif Butler and the team, you know, Coco, Pinky. I tell you, we had a blast doing this video. You want to see me pump bike yesterday? Man. All black. I ride out. <laughs> the man them see me, the man say, the man them say, huh? Don't ease up on them. Them cheek me come back. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. You know I love you, don't I love you too, sweetheart. I love you too. It's all love. I love you. I'll be a tell you every way, you know. All love. So, all love. So, you know I love you. Oh, God gosh, bless man. you, man. And I, my heart is broken for this young Donna Lee. Mm. I cry, like, literally cry tears. And I'm just praying that this mother will find peace, yeah. you know, and the comforter, Jesus Christ, will comfort your soul. And woman of God, wherever you are, just remember God is still in control. And I pray that other mothers just watch over your children. And I pray that Jamaica, the government, mm -hmm. will do better when it comes to things like these. Because there's a mother who is missing a child. Her heart is broken. And there are other mothers too who have lost children, sons and daughters, and there's nothing happening and no one is held responsible. So I'm taking this time to speak to our government, Prime Minister, all of you. God put you in those seats, mm -hmm. offices. I was in Ocherius just days ago. I went to the police station and they, they said, um, the policemen in there, they say, are you you're gonna pray for us? Mm -hmm. I thought, it was, I'm like, no. And when I walk outside, another policeman said, come here. And he started talking to me about God and he was, you know, saying scriptures and me and him just there. And the spirit of God came down mm -hmm. upon us. And I just literally start praying in the police station, in the yard. And all the officers came out and everybody was praying and calling upon Jesus, you know. And I remember the policeman, Mr. Lyon, he said, he's, he, he's from the Marine station. He said, but he was actually there and said, I should have left from eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. But like God sent you here. When we, when we finished praying, the spirit was upon me, I was in tongues. The rain just started coming down. And he said something that touched me. He said, we need upright policemen and women. We need righteous policemen and women. You know, and until that girl, Donna Lee, mother, father, sisters, brothers, family, when they get justice is when we get justice. Because if it, if it, it has to stop here, because mm -hmm. if it don't stop with Donna Lee, what is gonna continue? And I'm not saying this for no hype and, you know, you see all them goosebumps on me because I may not give birth to a child, but I mother a lot of children. Mm -hmm. And I have some of them, we have, you know, they're, they're not right, but I'm still praying for them. But I seen the tears and I, how could my daughter left? You come and get my daughter and you can't tell me where my daughter is. Where's my child? Yes. Where, where's my child? You, 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 you're in a relationship with her. Where is my child? And what are we doing here? What is happening? I, I'm just praying that it will be sorted out. And I don't even know what to say anymore. Mm -hmm. And another thing that you all need to know, there's a lot of young people leaving this island and they're disappearing mm -hmm. and they're into prostitution, not because uh, they, they want to get in it. But people are actually, not just this island, but I have a ministry and people call. And when they tell me, they had come and say they're giving us a job as bartenders and they end up even in some islands as prostitutes. And something needs to be done. Oh yes. A woman called me from Guyana, Antigua I mean, sorry. And I tell you, she cried because she, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of things hidden on the carpets that needs to come out. And we are afraid to talk, but we are afraid because 
of fear, but God didn't give us the spirit of fear. You understand? And if we... <laughs> uh, I don't want to get too deep because I'll get deep mm -hmm. and take this over. And you have to just dash with everything else. I just, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I just say, as a woman, you know, I've gone through some abuse. I've gone Sweet. through some things, but I'm still standing, mm -hmm. you know? So I, I, I just bless you all, you know, strong women, strong m men, you know, who stand up for your children. And I pray that this will be sorted out. And I'm, I, you can forget everything about the interview because like seriously, I find myself, I was in Florida just crying. And I couldn't, you know, every time I have a friend who sent things to me, as I tell you, yes. I say, I can't watch this no more until, you know, I said something about it. And then I, it's confusing. I don't know who is what and what is what and who is responsible, what, what, what. So we'll just wait and see, you know. But I hope that the end, in the end, the truth will come out, you know. And the innocent one will be, you know, yeah. And then the one who is responsible because we don't know what's going on yet. Amen. We've never closed an interview like this, and this is how we're going to close right now. So on behalf of all of us, Winford Williams, mm -hmm. thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week yeah. for more On Stage. On Stage is brought to you by KFC Buckets. When we bucket together, we are as we really are. KFC, proud sponsor of Jamaica 60.